started with two trees at the nursery and we have gradually increased our pawpaw patch. We have about 10 trees now. Pawpaws are not a, a, a juicy type fruit. They're not an apple. They're not a crisp apple. They have more of a custardy texture. So they're the only local representative of a primarily tropical genus of edible plants. They have the largest fruit of all North American fruits. Uh, a flavor which is kind of unique and people describe them as a uh, cross between a banana and a pineapple and a strawberry. But it's a pretty unique flavor. It's a, they're highly aromatic fruit and th their flavor also changes pretty dramatically over the over say the four or five days that they go from from just ripening to almost overripe. There's a few pawpaws up in this tree and, and sometimes they don't fall when you shake it. Sometimes they do. As we said, this is North America's largest fruit, so you'd have to be careful. They, although we're not talking coconuts here, they won't uh, they won't give you a, mass, a big headache if they fall on your head. But, so here we go. See if we can get these to come down. Whoop. And Get the bat come down. And there's one. This is a, I would call it a small pawpaw. It's, uh, the largest pawpaws are 12, 13, 14 ounces. Those are, 14 would be pretty big, but this is probably, I'm guessing, five, six ounces, you know, half the size of a normal pawpaw. And with my hands, I'm sort of showing what a, a normal pawpaw would, or, or one of the larger pawpaws would be. Here at Catskill Native Nursery, we often try to direct people to plant not some of the conventional fruit trees that they're often looking for, apples, and cherries, and plums. They're very often very difficult to grow. They're affected by spring frost. Sometimes you just you simply don't get a crop. The three native fruit trees that we offer um, are some of the best for backyard orchards. You're almost guaranteed to get a crop. Those three are mulberries, persimmons, and pawpaws.